Bro, I got a star, but now I can't get back. This picture shows where I am. Help me. From Luigi. Hey guys, and welcome back to Super Luigi Galaxy. So we got a... I, I booted the game up and I was just going to talk to Toad to get my extra lives before I started the session. And then it turned out it was actually a letter from Luigi. He's got our third and what's also his final star. But first, as Luigi runs in place, we have another letter. This one's the extra lives. It's a letter from Princess Peach. It's addressed to Mario, but we don't care. I want those 20 lives. I mean, this game is ridiculously easy, but still, I want those 20 lives. Why does Luigi get so many more lives? It's like, if you're going to make him the hard mode, don't give me 20 lives at the very beginning. Anyway, he's in the Honey Hive Galaxy. So we need to go to the very first mission of the Honey Hive. Which was B Luigi Takes Flight, although this particular mission is known as Luigi in the Honey Hive Kingdom. You actually gotta go to an area you don't need to go to in the regular mission. But, so, uh, you gotta try and work out how to get up here, or you could just do this, which I believe I showcased when we were first here. You could just spin your way up this slope. Like so. And there we go. Now, last time we were here, I was kind of struggling to get up this wall. Luckily, not an issue. This piranha plant, on the other hand, is an issue. I missed. So let's get up here and now try to carefully maneuver our way up. Flawlessly this time. Grab some star bits. I don't know if you actually need to get rid of this insect, but best to do so. Just so he's not in your way. Even though he runs away from you. Spin Luigi down, and that's it. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, hey, me. I hid because of that big scary bug. Let's get the power star and go. And that's it. That's the most Luigi's gonna do. He only helps you out with three stars, and he's not going to do anything else. You talk to him, which I don't think I do. He'll just say that he gets tired. But he'll just say that he's tired, and for us to go and get the rest of the stars. That's it. It's a wonder why they even brought Luigi into the story mode in the first place. I mean, yeah, it's sort of an introduction to when we can play as him. But he doesn't really do anything in the actual story. <laughs> and he does more here than he does in uh, Galaxy 2. But even so, what's the point of him being here? Right, Hungry Luma time! This is where they're really going to start getting expensive. It's a good thing I save up on my star bits, because he needs 800, and let me tell you, it's going to get twice as high as that by the end of the game. We're nearly there. There we go. It just takes longer and longer. Yeah, he know yeah, you feed the one that only requires, like, 400, and he looks exactly the same size, as will the one that needs 1,600. And now the Big Mouth Galaxy has appeared, or as I like to say, a new planet was born, because this galaxy is one planet. Big Mouth's Gold Bait. I mean, look at this thing. It's not exactly much of a galaxy. I mean, yes, it has these little planetoids surrounding it that are made entirely of water that you can never land on. But it's not really a galaxy. I mean, it's still bigger than some of the other ones we've seen so far, like the Flip Switch Galaxy. But again, it's not really a galaxy, and I swear, this thing looks a lot smaller here on the outside. So I swear, the, sh the level we're about to go through looks does not work with the shape of this thing from the outside at all. Now, now, you explain this part to me, Mr. Penguru. This is my hideaway. It's the perfect spot for fishing and being left alone. 
How is this your hideaway? We just made this place. Did we just recreate him? Kind of like how we did with the... It's like you, it, it, they give you these characters that will say, Oh, this place is great. We live here and all of that sort of stuff. We just made this place. So how can this be Penguru's hideaway if this place was just made? I mean, if you were to come here later on, after making it, and then you spoke to him, okay, that would make sense, but not right here. Not when we've just, not when the place is only like two minutes old. At least the Grin Girl died as well. Because for some reason, just about every water level in this game has to have at least one of these guys. jellyfish things surrounding the last starship. What I didn't know until now is that you can actually spin into them. I did not know you could do that. Ow. There's also a very major lacking of coins here. Oh no, it's gone. I was kind of switching around for it for a bit and then it <laughs> dawned on me. Oh wait, that's the one that I just killed. Coins drop from enemies are only there for so long. Still, at least this game doesn't have any hundred coin missions. Well, it sort of does, but not in the same way as 64 and Sunshine. I think it is possible to sort of jump your way up here, out of the water and get close enough so that the gravity for this section kicks in. At least maybe with Luigi, with like a spin jump possibly, I'm not sure. Don't lose this thing on your way back, because otherwise you're going to have to swim all the way back there again. And you'd think that you'd have to use the shell to break that, you can just go on right through it. It doesn't destroy the shell or anything, even though it does if you throw them, if you throw the shell at it. Don't miss. Don't hit the Koopa. Man, that was close! Oh, Luigi! I almost forgot to tell you something! I was trying to get a star, but I fell into the treasure chest! Let me tell you, it's even smaller than it looks! Anyway, here's the star I found in there! No, really, it's yours! Uh, can we close the chest back on top of him now? Take this power star! Yes, thank you. I did the same thing while playing as Mario. It's because the, you gotta talk to him, but it's the same button. It's still the jump button. Yaha! Alrighty then, it is time for the last two galaxies that are actually inside the bedroom dome. We still got our two little smaller galaxies left to do. But before we head on and face Bowser, let's do the other mission that's in there. So, and then we'll have to make our way all the way around the observatory. Well, halfway around the observatory, so it's not quite so bad. So let's make our way in. And our next galaxy is... The Honey Climb Galaxy. I wonder what power-up we're possibly going to be using. It's like every Mario game will introduce a new power-up and likes to put a lot of emphasis on it. Even if it introduces more than one power-up. It's like one will always get more focus than the other. It always feels that way anyway. And in the case of Galaxy, that is the B power-up. Because, you know, we've got the Boo power-up, but that's only in, like, two levels. Compared to the B suit, which is in, I don't know how many levels, but it's in a lot more. Yeah, I believe it's only in, like, what... Every power-up that's in Galaxy 1 is in Galaxy 2, except for the Ice Flower and the Red Star. But those that are returning, I think other than the Fire Flower, they all only appear in one galaxy. Like, I think this power... If this is in... If it isn't in one, it's in two. And no more than that. I can't recall, but... It's really not in that many galaxies in Galaxy 2. The Boo... The Boo Mushroom, I think, is only in one mission. 
even though Galaxy Zoo is like one or even two like haunted levels, it's not in either of them. Spring Mario only appears in one mission, which I'm which I'm glad about because Spring Mario sucks. I actually like this galaxy, if only because it's quite tense and you can get a lot of star bits in it. It's got to avoid these meteors, which you can fly around. Because they really don't give you a lot of space to avoid these things. It's actually quite tense going through that section. So just climb your way up, watch out for the mandibugs. I had to kill that guy because it was bothering me that I had 199 star bits. So I knew I was going to get more up here anyway, but I had to do it. One thing I've got to watch out for is that you, do, you are just going to jump right off the wall. You have to then manually fly your way back onto the honeycombs. And make sure you don't get hurt because you're going to lose the power up and fall all the way down. <laughs> So if you're too far to one side, you're gonna die. I believe though each planet does count as a checkpoint. So you're good there. If you die, you don't have to do the entire thing again. Alright then, that means it's time for one last thing. It's time for our boss fights. Well, and the galaxy that it's within. With 30 extra stars in hand, it's time for Bowser's Dark Matter Plant. Oh, we're gonna fight him behind his ear. Somehow, he doesn't have—he doesn't actually have any ears. Darkness on the horizon. Oh look, it's a lot. There's gonna be a lot of gravity switching in this level. Got more of Cooper Road, which I'm always happy about. Even though I think it's the weakest version, I don't care. It's still great regardless. What kind of a jump did I just do there? I mean, it saved me, so I have no issues. There are a bunch of traps here too. And you got a load of this dark matter. Now, I'm not entirely sure what dark matter is, but isn't the idea is that if, Mar if Luigi or Mario fall into these things, into this stuff, they're just erased from existence? Am I right in thinking that? So you've got to make sure that you maneuver yourself into the right place, otherwise you're going to fall when the gravity switches into that black hole or into the dark matter, whichever it is. And, uh, well, yeah, you'll be erased from existence, which is extremely terrifying. And I thought that die getting hurt or getting hurt from electricity is uh, rather grim in this game, because you can see your skeleton whenever you get electrocuted. Try not to uh, run too far, which I did do when playing as Mario and went right into one of them. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Safe. Long jump away, and there we go. Luckily, the one that doesn't just go off the side, at least a walk off, then it's not really walking. It doesn't just go off the side. Anyway, this part is. It's, it's odd. It manages to be boring and tense at the same time, which is an odd combination. Because I'm always worried that when the gravity flips, whenever like that happens, I'm always worried I'm going to get stuck on where the previous bit was and then it's just going to send me straight into the dark matter. I'm always worried that I'm just going to end up getting stuck. You won't, but I always fear that's what's going to happen. Or stuff like that, I fear I'm going to walk too far. At the same time, it is mostly just a waiting game. Look like that, I nearly got stuck there. But I think that's just because of the platform moving, so... Uh, at least that one's not so bad. But it's done. 
The Bowser Galaxies are not very long. Because really, the emphasis is on the boss fight. Use the stairs here. Let's put out. I haven't collected a single star so far. <laughs> a single star of it. So that's what's about to happen. I'm trying to feed him, and nothing is happening. You just get the little ticking sound to say, "No, you haven't got any star bits." Uh, I wonder if you look up, you can see it. What? It's you? That's it, Luigi. I'm gonna stomp you into star bits. Actually, what was his voice in Sunshine? What? It's you? That's it, Luigi. I'm gonna bust stomp you into star bits. Right, now Bowser's got his own spin attack. Just to put a little spin on things. Otherwise, the boss fight is exactly the same. He will reset his attack pattern if he hits you. And with each time you hit him, he's going to do one additional spin. So, like, how is that not breaking the glass? So spin, and then he jumps immediately. It's kind of hard to tell where he's going to go, because he doesn't just go straight in a circle, like, round the planet. At least not for the last few. Broke the thing. Oh, now I get a star of it. Again, this music is awesome, no matter whether it's uh, before or after you've broken the glass. Yeah, I don't recommend actually trying to knock him back, at least with Luigi because of the longer wind-up time. Just try and uh, avoid his attacks. He almost looks like a ballerina the way he does that. I think, I think it's because he's on one leg when he does it. He looks so graceful. Then Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games happen. Actually, which came first? Because I think they were released roughly the same time, I think. Although, well, having said that, I'm thinking of uh, Winter Olympics, the figure skating. And so we got the ribbon one in uh, London. Uh, 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 uh. Not bad. I guess I chose the right guy to be my arch enemy. At least you always put up a fight. But it's too bad for you because my master plan is almost complete. Tough luck, Luigi. I thought Mario was your arch enemy. I didn't realise it was Luigi. Mario's nothing. Luigi is the ultimate brother, really. And we got our next Grand Star. But there's a lot more to it than simply unlocking another dome this time. As we'll find out eventually. We just gotta uh, restore power first. And while the last star did nothing more than simply open a door, this time it lights up the rest of the observatory. Even the section above it, which we can't access yet. And we've unlocked the engine room. It's the only cast as one. Hey, we've got 64. How appropriate. With six new galaxies. We have a search in the location of your special one. Please take a look at the circle of by your feet. I read that very wrong. That number represents the, num the power stars you need to reach the centre of the universe. The number will decrease with each power star you recover. And when it reaches zero, the Comet Observatory will regain full power and fly as a starship again. And then we will be able to reach the centre of the universe. So it says I only need one. It will always say that. The Comet Observatory has full power. Now it can fly through the cosmos again. It's time. Do you want to go to the location of your special one at the centre of the universe? Eh, I'll wait. 
Please speak to me again when you are ready. And then the music just goes back to the calm. Yeah, even though we've still got one more Grand Star left to get, we can go straight to Bowser, which I always found odd. Why is the engine room and the other Bowser Jr. fight optional? The garden I get, but why the engine room? But anyway, we're not going to Bowser yet. We've still got two more domes to do, so I will see you guys for the engine room.